I've been getting a lot of requests to review Coco by Chanel. Isabel wrote to say, I am absolutely in love with Coco by Chanel, and I bought the Eau de Parfum today. I'm 24, and although some people say it is a mature perfume, I think I can pull it off. Could you please review this classic? Well, Isabel, if you think you can pull it off, I think you can pull it off. Now, I think one of the things that makes it seem like a grown-up perfume is that while it does possess a lot of the elements that are in flirty fragrances today, uh, i.e. it's got a vanilla quality, it has um, just bright florals, it also possesses a lot of resins and balsams, and there's also a leathery quality to it. So that's the kind of flick of the whip that you don't find in the kind of shiny, happy teen fragrances. I would classify Coco as a floriental. It's an oriental with flowers. Smush those two together, you have a floriental. It's easy. It's all about the amber and the frangipani, which is a sweet, white, tropical flower. So it definitely leans towards the tropics and there's powder worked in there. There's also some non-specific rose and jasmine, and you often get that in Chanel fragrances. They just kind of bring those in there, very high quality, but not really um, delineated rose, or you know, it's not like, hi, it's jasmine. These are just kind of a low under hum that supports the rest of the fragrance. Uh, but where things start to get interesting and a little more adult, a little more XXX, is when you get into those balsams and the, and the spices and that leatheriness. And there's also a plumminess. Plum! And the plumminess, dark fruits, whenever you smell those things, it, there's definitely more of a weight involved. It's not the, um, you know, kooky red berries that you get in the, the teen fragrances. However, I always say, if you love how a fragrance smells and you wanna wear it, and you adore yourself in it, and it makes your day better, then you need to be wearing that perfume. Stat. Uh, one of the things when I went back to smell cocoa, uh, I was reminded of was um, how uh, it, it is bold when you first put it on. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Uh, it's very perfumey. It does have a big opening salvo of aldehydes, so it, it really comes into its own once it calms down a little bit on the skin. Because to begin with, it's a bit woo. And for that reason, you know, maybe don't spray too much. Um, but this thing does improve as it goes along. It reminds me a little bit uh, once Coco calms down, settles in for the ride. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of La Jean by Agent Provocateur. That's a perfume I was going cuckoo for Coco Puffs about a little while back. Uh, basically because it has that deep dark fruit and it has the, the leather element. Um, and so Le Jean is definitely a callback to Coco. And Coco in itself is, is um, a reference to uh, Yves Saint Laurent opium. Now opium, that goes hog wild for all the spices. That thing is a big brick of spice. And so you get the Apopanax, which is sweet myrrh. You have um, just spices to, as the day is long. This thing is, uh, there's clove in there. Just these kind of sharp nose twitching um, uh, spices that resemble incense. And in fact, I think there is incense also in opium. So uh, with cocoa, it doesn't go to that dense smoldering slab of spice that opium is because it is opened up with more plushness and lushness of the, the tonka bean, the vanilla, and that gives it um, also a little more powderiness. So this thing is a little more refined and um, gentil, shall we say. Uh, there's a slight difference, it's worth noting, between the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette of Coco. The Eau de Toilette is leaner, it's more resinous, and once you get to the Eau de Parfum, it's more uh, powdery and I feel more feminine. It, it definitely is a little bustier. Um, it ha it's more uh, cushioned. It's, it's softer. So those are your options. If, if you're a guy who's attracted to cocoa, wants to wear it, 
Um, I'd say maybe head towards the leaner Eau de Toilette version. Uh, but these are, uh, Coco's a classic that is worth reinvestigating. I say yay. I'm Katie Puckrick and I smell. Five.